Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Streaming. Today we're going to talk about some updates that Roku has done. Yeah, Roku has it's actually becoming one of the top uh, streaming services there. It's also the top streaming like stick and device that you can get. It's above Amazon's. Um, so Roku itself, as we know, we've discussed, has a Roku channel. And they are making some updates to Roku for, well, let you decide if it's for that or not. Now note... Because Roku is on the TV and not on the computer, I do not have footage of some of these changes. Instead, we'll just talk about them. So here we go. So, first of all, Roku update. Uh, firmware 11.0 is coming out. And um, here's what they said. The company is introducing a speech recognition feature to feature all on all of its streaming sticks. Okay, If it works indeed, um, it'll make it so spoken dialogue will stand out better. So what they're basically saying is right now, for example, my Roku is connected up to a soundbar and you have to kind of mess with the settings today to go. Rather than having volume go up and down, what this is supposed to do is make it so when you're watching a movie and so on, the voices will stand out better in the mix. As long as it's on a Roku stick. So how does it work? Um, it's not this. It's not different, as it says, from hybrid noise cancellation features found in earbuds and headphones and so on. So what it does is it identifies spoken dialogue, runs it through an AI that attempts to isolate the dialogue from the audio mix. By doing so, the speech recognition AI is able to boost the dialogue volume independently of the other audio, allowing greater level of clear of clarity. In my family, I have people who are really sensitive hearing, and I kind of can't hear as well. So it's a good little mix there. Um, I would say it's super helpful, as it says here in the article. And uh, maybe whenever a Christopher Nolan movie comes on, maybe you'll understand it a little better. Who knows? Probably. Uh, um, uh, but the goal for Roku OS is 11.0 update is make it so there's better audio for everyone. Okay. Better audio for everyone, which for me is a good thing. Um, there's a lot of st stuff where we watch movies without, we have to literally control the micro, uh, not microphone, control the remote and have it go up and down, up and down, up and down. It's annoying. It's really annoying. But let's see uh, what else. What else we have? So, personalization. Again, with Roku OS 11, there are some changes. So, um, we already know the voice and audio settings is going to be there. There's going to be an overhaul of the Roku mobile app, which I don't know if you use it for actual Roku. Pretty much, uh, we use it for a spare remote. When my kids lose the remote, we at least have the ability to do something on Roku. So here's what they say. With Roku OS 11, we're offering a platform with new personalized updates across search, audio, content discovery, along with a new feature that allows our customers to display and even share photo albums to Roku devices. Um, so it's going to more detail. So we already talked about the dialogue part. Okay. Um, they're updating more of the TV side, which is good. So um, here's what they say right here. Okay, you can have an access to new what to watch menu as part of the uh, update. So what to watch sounds ideal if you're looking for a new favorite movie or a new TV show to binge. It suggests content from a wide variety of best streaming services. That means that its suggestions won't be tied to just a few select streamers and should help you find a newer trending content without scrolling through each app. I have on my Roku, I have a ton of streaming services, especially a lot of the free ones that we talk about. And this makes it so we can kind of uh, recommend stuff across various apps that you, that you have on there. Roku's live TV zone is also seeing expansion where we'll offer suggestions based on your recent watches along the Roku channel's live content. That can be especially handy if you're keeping up with the news or tuning into your favorite sports as they happen. Rounding out, uh, Roku OS 11's update is an expansion of the Roku Photo Stream feature, which I've never used, didn't even know it existed, which will allow you to let's set your photo albums, the images you've uploaded to your Roku device as screensavers. This will effectively let you display your favorite photos on your TV like it says with LG's TV lineup, presenting images and paintings uh, and such uh, while the TV is idle. So that is um, that's what they had coming up. Roku OS 11 looks like it's going to be shifting things around. It looks like it's not going to be shifting as much as, say, like when uh, Amazon Fire uh, TV updated their OS a bit. It's still not that great, but at least it's better than what it was. But it looks like Roku is making some changes. It's been pretty similar for quite a while. Um, and they're updating their TVs. The sound is the thing I'm most excited for. Uh, are you excited for any of this? Any of this seem appealing to you? I know some people 
are probably excited for what to watch. It'll help them figure out what to watch. Um, but for me, sound is good. If you're excited about the photos one, so be it. Um, anything else? Sign off in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think.